Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. I'm just going to give you a tour of my outdoor garden. The place is a mess because I am redesigning the yard. And as you can see on the south side of the property, we still have a reasonable amount of snow on the ground. down here I can see that my scallion is trying to grow I don't oh let's see further down there there's nothing in those beds but this bed has my green onions and some garlic in there see green onions trying to grow there and over there as well I covered I covered these self wicking buckets because I didn't want the snow to get in there because as the snow melts and freeze it would break the buckets so I covered them so that the snow would not get in. This raised bed is full of wood that I intend to use as trellis. Down there, there are some wood leaning against the raised bed because I'm going to be using those to create pathways in my lawn. I already covered this raised bed with plastic because as the time warms up and I'll be taking plants outdoors to harden them off I'm gonna be keeping them underneath here This is my kids garden and my raspberry beds those two blue container so everything on this south side is still covered with snow I'm gonna have some tomatoes in here which is the reason why I put these sticks up after the fall last year because I didn't want to have to do that this year and look I got scallions trying to grow but I'm not sure I want them to grow just yet because even though it appears as if we're getting an early spring it has gotten cold in the last two days and so I'd rather them hold off on growing in here as you can see my garlic is growing but look at the color <laughs> I think maybe in the fall it turned orange so my garlic is trying to grow I see another one right there and this is the caging that I make that I'm going to be using with a plastic over it to cover my scotch bonnet peppers in case the time is too cold and that's another trellis that I'm going to be using for my squash or for my potigel or melon I'm not sure which I'm going to be using it for just yet so last year I started putting cornmeal in here to control ants especially if there are carpenter ants in here because of the wood chip but I did not know that the cornmeal also kills cutworms so now I'm gonna have to go and get myself a lot of cornmeal and put in here because last year along the fence the entire fence line there I had 
beans and peas and the cutworms did destroy them these two apple trees need to be pruned so that's one of my project but I'm gonna be focusing on the cleaner part of the project first before I start thinking about pruning from the looks of it it seems as if they are getting ready to start growing again I see some grass escape and got through the mulch I already start prepping my outdoor worm bin the lower one the upper one I haven't touched yet have two compost pile waiting to thaw out so that the composting process can start I'm going to be doing something different this year because in this raised bed which is on the north I'm going to be planting corns and sweet potatoes in here As for the rest of the yard, it is a terrible mess because I am under um, yard maintenance. I'm maintaining the yard, so as you can see, I'm starting to create a pathway right throughout the lawn. I'm going to have to reseed the lawn because last year I covered the existing lawn with cardboard and then added loads of compost. I start the reseeding process further up but not down in this region because I ran out of time last year and here I have my winter sowing taking place nothing has started sprouting yet which is good I don't want anything to be sprouting just yet because it's not warm enough I don't want it to feel as if it is spring and start sprouting and then it gets cold again and I lose everything so I'm happy that it hasn't started sprouting in the few weeks of warmth that we've had okay so this is my update on what is going on what my plans are so if you enjoyed my video and you would like to see more please take a moment to give me a thumbs up leave a comment in the section below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day